The elements will destroy you. The My light magic shall burn will tear you. you apart. With the introduction of Death Knight to Hearthstone in 2022, Blizzard introduced the concept of more complicated class designs. Death Knight had its own unique deck building and resource systems unlike any of the classes before that. But I've begun the process of reimagining some of these older classes to make them more similar to Death Knight. I've overhauled Shaman, Priest, Mage and Hunter and you may have seen these videos on the channel. But I'm far from perfect and neither are my designs and you've pointed out some of the flaws in each of my overhauls. So in this video I'll be addressing those flaws. I guess you could say I'll be overhauling my class overhauls. The first video I made for this series was my overhaul of Shaman, my personal favorite class. I'll quickly summarize the contents of the video. Storm, Earth and Fire, heed my call. I gave Shaman four new runes similar to the ones Death Knight has that I called Elements. There was Air, Earth, Fire and Water. You could include up to all four elements in your deck, and the number of elements you chose would affect your hero power. You see I also changed the basic totems from the Shaman hero power. I attach an element to each of their minion types, which would signify what element they were attached to, and you could only summon the basic totem of the same elements in your deck. So for example, if your deck had only the air element, your hero power would always summon strength totem, which I chose instead of breath of air totem since I felt that would be too strong. I also made some specialized cards that you could gain access to if your deck had at least the same elements as the ones under the card's mana crystal. These cards would grow stronger the more elements were on them, since that would dilute the consistency of your hero power. I shared this update online and the people of YouTube and Reddit were mostly excited about it, but when I shared it on the custom house or discord server, most people had the same reaction. Why would I ever run only a single element when I could get access to more cards by running all four they ask? It makes your hero power stronger, I said. Hero powers are useless. People will always choose the bigger card pool they came back with. But what if the specialized cards were all based around the hero powers, I retorted. It's not enough, they insisted. It went back and forth like this for a while, but secretly I knew they were right. I was about to lose all hope when suddenly... Community member Dustin appeared and proposed the idea that some cards would be stronger if your deck had the exact same elements as the ones on the card. I took this to heart and I present to you a new keyword I made for Shaman. Harmony. Cards with harmony would trigger a bonus effect if your deck contains only the card's exact elements. An example of a card with harmony could be this new version of Wind Fury. Wind Fury is a 2 mana spell that your deck can run if it has the air element. As a baseline, Wind Fury would give a minion Wind Fury this turn. But if your deck has only the air element, Wind Fury will give it permanently. Here's a few other examples of cards with harmony. Hopefully that should respond to the main issue of my Shaman Hall, but I also made a Priest Overhaul, and people had some notes about that too. My Priest Overhaul was this. I gave Priest three different playstyles that I call Faiths. Discipline, Holy and Shadow. Your Faith would be decided by the spells in your deck, so if your deck had more Holy spells than Shadow spells, it would be considered a Holy deck, and if it had more Shadow spells than Holy spells, it would be a Shadow deck. And finally, if it had the same amount of holy spells and shadow spells, it would be a disciplined deck. I also gave Priest two new resources called Piety and Insanity. You would gain one Piety every time you cast a holy spell and one Insanity every time you cast a shadow spell, and at the end of your turns you would lose one Piety and one Insanity. I also made some specialized cards based on your faith. The cards for shadow would often interact with your Insanity bar and could have the new keyword Insanity X. While cards for holy would often interact with your piety and could have the keyword piety x. Discipline would be both and would often have both keywords. I shared this update various places online and like last time, the response was very positive, but a couple people pointed out a pretty glaring flaw. Some of the cards I'd made relied on you getting to 5 piety on insanity, sometimes even both, and the way I designed the system made that nearly impossible. Because you'd lose one piety and one insanity at the end of your turns, you'd have to cast at least two holy or shadow spells each turn if you ever wanted to increase your piety or insanity. And that just seems too difficult. So with this update, that would now change. 
From now on, if you've cast a shadow spell that turn, you will not lose any insanity at the end of your turn. The same applies to holy spells and piety. This way it will be easier to maintain and increase your piety and insanity. This should respond to the main issue of my priest overhaul, but there was another thing I had since thought of. I don't really like that the new keywords have the same name as the resource, so from now on, the name of the keyword Piety X would change to Pious X and Insanity X to Insane X. I also learned a couple things from my mage overhaul. My mage overhaul was very brief and was all about replacing the freeze keyword with a new keyword called Chill. Like frozen characters, a chilled character would not be able to attack the enemy hero, but it would still be able to attack minions. The idea was that this keyword would replace all instances of freeze, not just for mage, but when I shared this update here on YouTube, the response was not so great. So what I learned from my mage overhaul is that people really like freeze mage. No, but really what I actually learned was that these overhauls should be about giving something to the class and not taking something away. My most recent episode was my overhaul of the Hunter class, and like the first two videos, the reaction was pretty overwhelming. I won't go too much into detail about the responses to Hunter because while working on my next class overhaul, I had this great idea that I just wish I had thought of for my Hunter overhaul. There's too much to mention in this single video, so I'm gonna make a part 2 where I go into detail about that. Well, that's it for this video. I hope you like these changes to my class overhauls and thanks to everyone who helped make them. And thanks to you for watching this video. And if you like what you saw, consider leaving a like or subscribing to the channel. I'll see you next time. That's incredible. Take